In this video, I will give you the exact 5 steps you have to follow to become a game developer. I completely understand the fact that not having in mind a path to follow is challenging. Moreover, when looking for solutions, you feel overwhelming and angry because of the multiple options available. That is normal, do not feel bad because you have found the solution. Let's start with these simple 5 steps to become a game developer today, right after finishing watching this video. Step 1. How to look at game development. As of course we want to become game developers, we do have to understand completely how we have to look at game development. Game development is basically a skill, it's like, play, it's like learning to play an instrument like the guitar. You aren't gonna grab the guitar, start playing and everything will go smooth. Of course you are gonna grab the guitar and you will have no idea where to start. In game development it happens the exact same thing. If you have ever opened uh, some kind of a game development tool such as a game engine, you will find yourself in a, in a place that you don't know what to do. So that is normal, do not feel bad and start looking at game development as a skill that of course you have to enrich. And how can you enrich your game development skills? Basically, there is tons, 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 tons of game development tutorials out there for free on the internet in YouTube that you can start taking a look at them. You don't really have to be replicating anything in your end, just watching at how a game is actually built because you will understand the logic behind the game development, for example, the different softwares that are used. And most importantly, you will understand that game development is a skill and therefore you will really need to focus on learning. For example, when playing a guitar, it will take you weeks to actually start playing some kind of notes. And at first, your fingers will start to hurt, the notes won't really be good, etc. In game development, it happens the same thing. When you start to uh, game de to develop games, you will probably not understand everything that happens. You won't be able to add as many features or the exact features that you would like to add because you don't have the enough knowledge in order to make the most of the skill. So start looking at game development as if it is a skill, as if it were uh, a musical instrument. And once you have correctly understood this, we can move to step number two. Step number two, choose an engine. Now that you do understand how to look at game development and that you have correctly watched some kind of game development tutorial to get an idea uh, about how games are made, basically the logic behind them, the different software that you can use, etc. It is the time to choose an engine. Firstly, the game engine is basically the software that is used to create games. That is the simplest definition that I can give you and it's actually the most accurate and efficient for beginners. If you start looking at options, probably you will easily realize that there are tons of options that you can choose. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. So, first of all, you do not have to feel overwhelming with this decision. If you are just starting out, if you want to become a game developer, the tool that you use won't really matter. What is gonna literally matter a lot is how you use that tool if you dedicate enough time as we were talking about in the previous uh, step basically that we have to look at game development as if it were a skill that we have to practice a lot so you have to focus more on actually making the most of any tool that you are using learning it as deeper as you can and there you will have learning a lot also, as you have literally no knowledge in game development, it's actually quite difficult to understand the different advantages and disadvantages of all of them. Because let's say that we have Engine 1 and Engine 2, and maybe Engine 1 is better for 2D and Engine 2 is better for 3D games, but maybe you don't really know what type of game you want to create. You don't know if, they, you, if you want your games to be 2D or 3D, to have amazing graphics or just plain graphics 2D for mobile. You don't know bunch of things. And when trying to choose an engine, you feel super overwhelming due to the fact that you have tons of options, tons of options uh, which have completely different advantages and disadvantages. So when you are just looking forward to becoming a game developer, just choose any engine that sounds good for you. And then when you fully understand that engine or when you do have some kind of interesting knowledge in that engine and you were able to create some games on your own, some games following tutorials, then there you will have a deeper knowledge about what you want to achieve and by knowing what you want to achieve, what you want to be creating, you will be able to make a wiser choice in terms of the engine that you want to actually dedicate. In my personal, personal experience, I, I would suggest you to start directly with Unity, probably you have already heard uh, of this engine, 
because we have a lot of information on this engine literally anywhere um in youtube you can have a bunch of courses in a uh, tons of different games also if you come to some kind of error or you want out some kind of feature you will find it right away in some kind of forum or video because it's the most global engine and there are solutions uh, for literally everything so if you want to really become a game developer you will probably have a lot of questions doubts you want to know how to ask certain things that's why i would really recommend you start with unity but again just choose the one that makes you feel uh, the most comfortable with just taking a look at it do not feel overwhelming because then you are going to probably change it step three become the best at it so amazing, you have already chosen your game engine that you wanna uh, be using. But well, now comes the time in which you have to become the best at it. You have to really understand how to use it, where the different tools, where the different windows are. And probably the best thing to start at would be just watching tons of courses, tutorials, reading a lot of documentation. Because first you have to know the basics, you have to know the theory about the engine that you're gonna be using for a long time. Because without a solid basis, whenever you want to add something it's gonna be mostly impossible think of this as the just the basis of a table if the basis isn't strong enough when you want to put something on it it's gonna just break it down this is exactly the same when choosing an engine and wanting to become a game developer so first of all start by taking a course more general about programming basically start learning concepts that you're gonna be using in spite of the technology game engine or programming language that you use Basically things like variables, functions, for loops, while loops, etc. Those are things that you want to be using all the time, even if you're using engine A, B, C, or D. Once that you know the pretty, pretty basics of uh, game of programming, you can actually get into game development. And again, you will have to know some pretty basic principles uh, about game development, such as game design, how animations work, how different input actions work, etc. And again, in all this, there is ton of information on the internet, so you can just look for a game design tutorial, game to game design course. You will find ton of information for free there on YouTube. And then once you finally know the basics of programming and also the basics of game development um, and game design, you can move to actually learning the engine that you have chosen in the previous step. And to do this, what I really recommend you to do is to take something like two or three full courses basically courses in which you create some kind of complete game that will be ready let's say to be published where you have everything let's say a menu a main scene where the game happens you have player you have an animation you have particles etc so try to create two or three games uh, that are like that um and with that you will actually start becoming the best at the engine that you are trying to learn or well you will start gaining some kind of interesting knowledge and with that knowledge let's move to step number four step number four apply the knowledge make sure everything you learn is applied in some kind of project if not the knowledge will be lost basically if you do not apply some kind of knowledge it will probably be lost think about again learning an instrument if you used to play the guitar five years ago and you try to play guitar after those five years of not touching a single guitar in your life you will probably not be able to play it so in game development it happens exactly the same the knowledge that isn't actually used and practiced is knowledge that is gonna be um, lost so as i told you in the previous step after taking maybe two three complete courses about creating a fully complete game what you have to do is to complete uh, try to uh, complete maybe two or three other games completely on your own applying the knowledge that you have gained Basically, these games should be the most original uh, that you can. Basically, start to ideate your own project idea with the core gameplay, the secondary mechanics, etc. It doesn't really have to be something super complex or revolutionary. Remember that we are just creating, until now, games for our own. But try to ideate the project and then make it a reality. And while you're trying to make your game a reality, you will come to a bunch of problems, things that you don't know what to add, you don't really know the order, that you should follow in order to create your game for example should i create firstly the platforms or should i create firstly the player so all those things you're going to be able to overcome them on your own while you apply the knowledge that you have gained and also at the same time you're going to be gaining a lot of knowledge because whenever you run into a doubt a question something that you can solve something that you want to add but you don't really know how 
you will there have to look in our own, look in the docs, look in some kind of tutorial in order to be able to complete the game. You have to stop just consuming a bunch of tutorials because even though, as I told you, tutorials are an amazing tool, you don't have to really be only consuming them but also applying everything that you learn and make sure that you are applying most of the knowledge that you are gaining because if not, you will lose it. And also make sure that you are creating more projects in your own than projects that you are just replicating on your end or modifying from somebody else. Step 5. Keep the ball rolling. Basically, this step is quite simple and the title of it just describes mostly everything. Basically, continue learning, continue creating. Because there is always something that you can improve, there is always something new that you can learn, there is, there is always something that can actually make you a better game developer. Again, going back again to the guitar example, a, a guitarist never stops learning something, even the best guitarists never stop learning something because there is always a new note that they can play maybe better, they can sing a little bit better there is literally no limit, so make sure that you aren't limiting yourself because you think that you know everything because probably you don't know everything, it's impossible to know everything and even more in game development there are always new tools, new AI tools for example that come up so you really have to stay up to date with literally the latest of everything of also the knowledge that you can gain with also new tools that make uh, the start to appear so you really have to focus on keeping the ball rolling if you keep the ball rolling for enough time you will eventually succeed in game development so this is all for today's video i hope that now with these steps you can actually become a game developer and following these five steps exactly you're gonna be becoming a game developer pretty soon you can start right away I start with step one Try to watch maybe this video again in step one. You understand how you should be looking at game development. Then in step two, choose any engine that you want. There are plenty of videos out there on YouTube explaining the different engines that there are. And just start with any of them. Then you're going to change. And then in step three, try to become the best at it. Try to learn it as deep as possible while taking a lot of courses. And then in step four, start applying all that knowledge in different projects. And finally, just keep the ball rolling, okay? So I can guarantee you that if you follow these five steps for a long, for enough time, you're gonna be eventually succeeding as a game developer. So I wish you the best of the luck in your game development journey, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.